Hello guys, I'm Thunder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a health system. As you can see, I have on the bottom right my health bar. If I walk over to this, I take damage, and once my health reaches zero, I die. My character goes into Ractal, and if I click the retry button, it respawns me. We'll begin by creating our UI. Go over to your hierarchy, right click, UI, Canvas. Now scroll down and over where it says constant pixel size, click on it and change it to scale with screen size. For the reference resolution, I will use 1920 by 1080. Now that this is done, let's go ahead and first create our health bar. Right click on your canvas, UI, image. This will be our background or our health bar. I will also put it inside an empty game object, which I'll call health bar. Now the background, Give it an image, which I have this one, but I would recommend you use one of Unity's default ones unless you want to make your own health bar. But I'll use this. Now, scale it however you want. I'm just going to do something like this and this. Then move it over to where you want it to be on your screen. Now, duplicate the background, and this will be your bar. I will make this be red, and I will take about 10 width from it so 605 118 i'll make the background darker there we go the last thing to do is select your bar and where it says image type simple change it to be filled sorry then we'll change the fill method to be horizontal and in this case i'm going to make the origin be from right to left so that way that's how it goes again this is completely up to you how the image type behaves now let's move on onto our death screen right click on your canvas and create an empty game object which you'll call death screen and inside here i'm just going to configure it quickly all right so i'm done with my death screen all this is is an image with a reddish color and low transparency and then a text which says you died change the color and the alignment I did on the center and the center uh, vertically. Now, the next step is creating a button. Right click on your death screen, go to UI, and I'm gonna use the legacy button. This will be your death, uh, sorry, or retry button. I'm gonna put it down here and just quickly configure it. All I did for the button was change the color to be a reddish color too. The text, I changed the font size, the button size, and I changed it to be retry. We can now move on onto scripting. First, we'll create a folder, which we'll call scripts. Then inside here, we're going to create five scripts. The first one will be math L. The second one will be stats bar. Third one, death screen. Fourth one, player stats. And fifth one, damage zone. So let's do that. Calm down, there are five scripts, but all of them are extremely simple, so don't worry. We'll begin by opening all five of them. First script we'll make is our math L, which basically stands for library. All we're going to do is create a function that allows us to calculate our percentage. Two things to keep in mind when making this function is one, it needs to be a public static float percentage calculation. Then we're going to pass two floats one is going to be a, the current number, and the other one is going to be the max number. For this, we'll do float value to return, which we'll set to zero. And then value to return equals, we're gonna do two parentheses, okay, two sets of parentheses. One's gonna be, the, the inside one is going to be current number times 100, and then we'll divide this parenthesis by the max number. Close it and just return the value. Now let's move over to our stats script, stats bar script, sorry. In here, we'll first get a reference to the Unity Engine UI namespace. So just copy that over and make a UI. Then go ahead and delete all of these functions because you don't need them. Make a serialized private image which we're going to call bar. 
then make a public void update call it update bar otherwise it will use unity's update system then here what we're going to do is bar that fill amount equals math l that percentage calculation and we'll pass the current value which we also need a reference for this function so do float current comma float max and pass in the current and the max we're gonna now move over to our death screen this one is also quite simple all we got to do is remove these functions and we'll create three simple functions first one is going to be a public void which we'll call show inside of it we're going to do game object that set active and we'll do true duplicate it over twice the second function will be called hide and instead of setting the object true it will set it false now scroll up copy over the unity engine namespace paste it again and do unity engine dot scene management over here on the third function we're going to rename this retry in this case what we're going to do is we'll just reload the current scene that we're on so we're going to do scene manager dot load scene parentheses and inside the parentheses we're going to use the scene manager again dot get active scene parentheses dot build index we're done with our desk screen let's move over to our player stats on our player stats the first thing that we want to do is get a reference to the namespace starter assets we're going to do using starter assets then go ahead and delete these functions and we'll create five variables the first one is going to be serialize private float health then just grab this make it equal to 100f copy it over once and change it from health to max health over here create a header called ui and we're going to create two serialized um, variables one is going to be a stats bar which will be our health bar the next one will be of type death screen and the last one is going to be a property so we're going to do public bull is alive we're going to do brackets get semicolon private set semicolon and after the brackets we're going to do equals true then let's do our start function over here first we're going to execute a function called disable rectal we'll create it in just a moment then we want to enable well basically disable our cursor so it doesn't show there's a reason for that and that is because when we show our death screen our cursor will be enabled and we don't want it to stay that way first we're going to do cursor dot visible equals false and cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot confined well actually locked now that this is done let's move over to our update function in which first we'll update our health bar health bar dot update bar we'll pass our health and then we'll pass our max health next we'll check if our health is less than zero and we are alive is less than or equal to zero and is alive then we'll execute a dive function which we're going to create in a second let's first create or take damage function so we can take damage so this is going to be a public void take damage we'll pass it a float which is going to be our damage and then all we got to do is health minus equals damage then let's create or dive function first we're going to disable our movement for this we're going to first enable the rectal and then we're going to disable our third person controller script so we're going to do get component third person controller dot enabled equals false then we need to disable our cursor so what we're going to do is grab this code over here switch it to enable and where it says false we're going to do true and instead of locked we're going to do none the last thing we need to do is to show our death screen and set our player to be dead so we're going to do death screen dot show and is alive equals false the last thing to do in this script is to create or enable and disable rectal functions for this we'll scroll down and we're going to make a public void and we're going to call it enable rectal then go ahead and duplicate it and call it disable rectal on enable rectal the first thing we need to do is to disable our animator so we're going to do get component animator dot enabled 
equals false. We then want to access every single rigid body that is on our player, so we can enable the, the physics for the rectal. So we're gonna do rigid body RBs. Make sure this is an array, so square brackets equals get components with an S, and it's going to be of type rigid body. Then we'll run a for each loop. So do rigid body RB in RBs. First, we want to check if this is our own rigid body. Therefore, we don't want to set anything to it. We just want to continue the loop. So we're going to do if RB equals get component rigid body. Then we'll just continue, which basically will skip anything else within the loop and go to the next. I made a mistake here and I only place an equal. Make sure you place two equals. Then over here, we're going to set RB dot is kinematic equals false and RB dot use gravity equals true. Save it and copy over the code to the disable rectal function. On here, all we got to do is swap where it says false for true and true for false. There we go. This script is done. Let's move over to our damage zone. This will be quite simple. Go ahead and delete these functions. Create a serialized private field of type float. We're going to call it damage, and this will be equal to 40f by default. Then we're going to do the untrigger enter function. First, we want to check if we have the player stats script. So we'll do player stats, stats equals get component, other that get component, sorry. And over here, we're going to look for the player stats script. Then we'll say if stats is not equals null, then we'll say stats dot take damage and we'll pass the damage variable. Save it. And we can now go to Unity and set up our scripts. First, let's set up our death screen. So select your death screen and drag the death screen script over to it. Then select the button, the retry button. Scroll down and where it says on click, we're going to add one. And then we'll drag the death screen over here. Make sure it's the game object that has the death screen script. And where it says no function, click on it, go to the death screen and click on retry. This will make it so when we click the button, it executes the retry function. Next, go to your health bar and drag the stats bar script. Over here, all we gotta do is drag our bar image. The last thing is select your player armature. Go over here and I'm just gonna add it right below my third person controller. Add the player stats script, drag over your stats bar and your death screen. Now there's two more things left to do. One is create our damage zone and the second one is create our rectal, both which are pretty simple. First, let's do our damage zone, which we'll right click and create a cube. We'll call it damage zone. And over here, we'll add the damage zone script and set our box collider to be trigger. So enable is trigger. I'm just gonna place it somewhere around here. Then we're going to go over here to the top left where it says game object. Click on it and go to 3D object, Rectal. All we got to do now is drag our player's bones. If you're using a humanoid rig, it should follow a similar structure to mine. So you should just be able to follow the hierarchy. So go over to your player armature and where it says root, open it up, drag the pelvis over to pelvis. Then we'll drag the spine. Actually, no, we're going to drag the middle spine. So take spine two and drag it over to middle spine. Then take head and drag it over to head. This is the thigh, cough, okay. So we're gonna take the thigh and we're gonna drag it to left hips. Then the cough, that's gonna be, or knee. So drag it over to left knee. Then do the same for the foot. We're gonna do the same process, but for the right leg. Now the last thing to do is the arms. So open up your spine and over here where it says clavicle, don't do the clavicle yet. We're going to use the upper arm instead of the clavicle. First for our left arm, drag it over here to where it says left arm. Then lower arm, we're going to drag it over here to the left elbow. Same process for the right arm. The last thing I'll do is give it a total mass of 250, which is what I've found that gives the best result. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit create. 
Now, obviously you won't have the same bone names as I do, but it should follow the same structure if you're using humanoid. So now it's just, uh, well, actually I forgot one thing, which is on the canvas, disable your death screen. This has to be disabled by default. There's actually one more thing that we need to do before we can test it. Because as you can see, our camera is now colliding with our actual rectal. It's no longer back here. So what we gotta do is we gotta first create a layer for a rectal. So go over to your player and where it says root, you're going to grab it and change it from the layer. We're gonna say add layer. We'll call this rectal. And then we're gonna create a second layer, which we'll call player. Select your root again and assign the rectal layer. Yes, change children. Then select your player armature and assign the player and say no, this object only. The last thing to do is go over to edit project settings and over here, make sure you have selected physics and down here where it says rectal and player, you don't want player and rectal to collide. So click on it, then close it, save it and you can now actually test it. When you play, you will notice one thing, and that is that if you walk over to the damage zone, you're not taking damage, but you actually are just that our health bar is not being properly updated. So let's go over towards scripts and over here where it says on the stats bar, bar fill amount, we have to divide this by a hundred because the fill amount goes from zero to one and we're getting it from zero to a hundred. So divide it by a hundred and that should be it. You can see now, if I go ahead and walk over to the damage zone, I actually take the damage. And once it reaches zero, my guy will crumble down and rectal. Then you can click on retry and it will respawn you back. That's gonna be it for the video. As you can see, the health system is fully working. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.